Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared a very easy problem for you. I hope most of you would be able to solve this problem on your own. So as usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is a problem. Suppose that the ratio of Ag to Tc in DNA is 0.7 what is the ratio of its complement. So, in order to solve this problem, first of all, a little bit um, theory. As you know, that uh, basis pairs as follows. Adenine base pairs with um, thymine and guanine with cytosine. And uh, we call um, these two bases, pyrimidines and these two bases, purines. What's the difference? Uh, purines has a double ring in bases and pyrimidines has one ring. So when uh, these bases pairs they make uh, even leather and uh, cytosine never base pairs with thymine and adenine with guanine. So once again here is purines and here is pyrimidines. Uh, how to memorize? I have a, a mnemonic technique for you. So um, thymine, cytosine and uracil as you know, in uh, RNA, thymine would be replaced with uracil, so this is basically the same base, very small change uh, that makes difference between uh, thymine and uracil. So as you see, we can read this as cut. So cut means uh, that this is cut version. So if we take this as a normal base, this with one ring, uh, would be considered as cut version of the base. So thymine, uracil and uh, cytosine would be pyrimidines. How to memorize uh, pyrimidines? As you see, uh, it's much longer word than purines. And this is just um, paradoxal um, logic that long words stand for the short version of the basis and short word stands for the long version of the basis. This is called paradoxal uh, logic because it is much easier to memorize, for example, green cat that you would see on the street than, for example, white cat or black cat. So uh, just memorize that adenine and guanine is purines and uh, cytosine, uracil and thymine is um, pyrimidines. Now we can return to our problem. So basically as you see uh, we have ratio here, ratio of uh, purines to pyrimidines. So we can also say that uh, here we have x and y. Or, if we arrange this formula, rearrange this formula, we can get x divided by y equals to 0 0.7. Now, I think everyone can solve this problem very easily. So, basically, that means that we have to divide 7 by 10. And we would get 0 0.7. So, in our example, we have a ratio 7 to 10, and uh, as you remember, if uh, on one strand we have uh, 7 purines, 7, so this is would be, for example, A, 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 and G, G. G. So as you see we have 
seven Purines here and for example Zymin 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 so five and five cytosine 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 and cytosine so here we have ten pyrimidines and this is how we got this ratio seven to ten so this means uh, 0 0.7 and this is adenine and guanine and here we have thymine and cytosine not necessary that 5 to 5 we may have here 9 thymines and 1 cytosine it doesn't matter what matters is that this is going to be uh, pyrimidines so what we are going to have on the other strand and once again this is very easy to predict so we know that bases uh, with pairs as adenine with zymine and guanine with cytosine so here we would have on the other strand zymine, 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 zymine cytosine, cytosine, cytosine and adenine, 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 adenine and guanine, 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 guanine so ratio would be reverse this time we have y on top and x on the bottom so we have to divide 10 by 7 and our answer would be 1.43 and this is going to be our answer today I hope everyone have been able to solve this problem correctly and I hope that my mnemonic technique would help you to memorize uh, three bases with one ring and two bases with two rings and also that these three bases are cut version and uh, we call this um, pyrimidines and those bases with two rings we call purines one more time so this basis represents um, T and C bases or Y so we have uh, here 7 that represents Y and we have here 10 bases that represents X bases A and G and we have 10 of them that represents X so X here and Y here so now I think this is, would be very clear for you that uh, it is very easy to solve such problem we just uh, for the uh, second strand of the DNA have to uh, flip over this formula and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye